Bleep. I'm Lisa Bleep. and I'm Chelsea Bleep. so to be fair this is like a topic about like toxic parents yeah this one is the worst one that we've seen and heard so far so with this one part two it somehow got deleted so I won't able to find that but you don't really miss them a lot in it it's just her just telling you a bit about backstory of her situation which she kind of explained in part two anyway so mm -hmm. we're good to go so I made a Facebook post basically saying that I'm selfish because I have four kids but I won't be her surrogate and help her have a baby. My mom and a small handful of people are extremely angry at me calling me all sorts of names for being selfish. On the other hand, several others including my dad and my brothers are taking my side. Which is why I made my own Facebook post. I explained my situation and how it would be a high risk pregnancy and the complications I had with my last child. Several people tagged my sister in my post to tell her off but she blocked everyone and then called and screamed at me for putting personal information on Facebook. Then my sister's boyfriend called me and apologized. He had no idea that she had asked me and he even offered to find surrogacy with her but she always complained that it was too much. My mom never commented or said anything on my post but then I asked her to lunch and she agreed. When I arrived, she started telling me off for going on Facebook to complain. Apparently this is a family matter and should be talked about privately. No, I no. asked her how my body was a family matter. All she said was, I made you so it's a family matter. This is when things got intense. My sister made a Facebook post. Okay, this is too much for me to swallow, it's honey. It's part, babe. There's more. I asked my mom what would happen to my kids if something happened to me, and all she said was, they will live. I could not believe the stubbornness of this woman. I then went on to tell her that whether they lived or not, it was still going to break them. My oldest child would go back to her dad, and the younger three would stay with my husband. Separating them would break them even more. And once again, she said that they would live. Then she went on to tell me that I need to do the right thing for my family, because it's not that big of a deal and I need to grow up and act like an adult. At this point, I was so upset that I got up, left, and cried the whole way home. Not long after, my dad showed up at my doorstep and asked if he could stay for a while. After lunch, my mom told him that I was still refusing to do a simple task for my sister. That's when he told her off for not thinking about all her kids instead of her golden child, and things could be worse this time for me. My mom told him that it's my fault for not looking after myself, and after this, my dad left her. My dad has been living with me since he left my mom, and the kids and my husband love having him around. I know he will eventually try talking to my mom again, but whether they get back together or not just depends. In all honesty, it seems like my mom doesn't care, and if they do divorce, I'll probably be the one to blame. Whoa! Firstly, <laughs> yeah. I'm out of my mother's mouth saying they will live. After that, I've told you that if I have this kid, I could die. How would you lose your daughter over that? It's worse than the kid might not even survive, anyways. The kid might not survive, the woman might not survive. There's so much you like to depict from this whole, like from that whole story time, there's so many different aspects of mm -hmm. like toxicity. Yeah. The first aspect I think is the mom herself. She's toxic, but you can see not even just the mum. I think the culture seems to me to be quite toxic as well. Well, from what she said, because she said that her sister and a few other people were agreeing. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, what kind of family, like the culture within your family, seems to be a bit toxic, mm -hmm. especially as it pertains to the women? Because she said her brothers and her dad were on her side about not having the kid. Mm -hmm. But the women in your family, like, what has everyone been taught in your family yeah. that your purpose is as a woman? Mm -hmm. And then what annoyed me, the fact that she went on Facebook first. Exactly. First of all, why would you even do that? And exactly, why didn't the mum tell off the sister for putting it out there? And then they mentioned something about golden child, like, oh, that there's makes too, sense. There's too much, yeah. there's too much to depict here. And another thing, like, she said that, oh, you, I own you. You're, you're basically, your body's mine. That's nah. another thing that like, some parents feel like they own their kids so much so to, to say that I can choose what you do with your body. Yeah. Like, this woman's forcing her daughter to want to, to feel like she the need to actually carry a child that could kill her and leave her own kids without parents. And and, and that kid and their kids gonna end up hating her as well. Like, why did you my mom do that? Yeah. She yeah. puts her off in front of me and it's gonna traumatise those kids. Just because your 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 one daughter can be happy, there's other ways, it's an adoption. Exactly. There's so we can see. Hmm. That's just so mad to me. Like, I don't understand. I just don't understand when parents, it's not just so much parents, but mums, like, they just get involved in things that they don't need to get involved in. Personally, I feel like if your daughters are having an argument about this kind of thing, as a mum, like, being non-toxic and a normal mum, not that I'm a mum, just saying, mm. but I feel like you should be there to actually sit down with your daughters and say, listen, you guys shouldn't be arguing about these things. This is not, like, 
Mm. Why is this even a conversation that you were involved in as a mm -hmm. mum? You're meant to be authoritative figure and to be the one who stops the arguments and the quarrelling yeah. and you're there adding fuel to a fire and taking sides. And let's even talk about the toxic toxic sister. Like, you see how sisters fight? This is another level. I feel like that the girl that had the kids had probably grew up not feeling loved or accepted or feeling like her sister was the favourite one. And that in itself is traumatising. For now your sister to shame you and make you feel terrible about yourself just because you can't have kids. No. Her sister, I feel like this is more than toxic. I feel like that's evil to me. Yeah, yeah, like, very evil. Do they actually love her at all? Hmm. They must not. I'm so glad for the dad. Mm -hmm. Hooray for the dad. And this is great. Like, this is nice because sometimes people get confused when they have a toxic parent. They might think that both of their parents are yeah. like that. But sometimes it is just one parent. Mm -hmm. And it's mature for the other parent to understand, like, I don't agree with this type of parenting. Like, yes, we both love each other. Yes, we've made these yep. kids. But I do not agree with what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to sit here and stand for it if you're making my child suffer. Yes. Like, I feel like more parents need to be able to stand up and say that, mm -hmm. like, no, I love you, but I don't agree with this. Because it's not on, like, I feel mentally. And constantly. And then family family dinners is not going to be okay because they're always going to bring it up. That's the thing about this They always bring it up. Or yeah. everything you do, you'll be like, oh, so you can do this for your sister, but you can't but give you her can't a baby. That's beyond toxic. Yeah, guys, I know this one, this topic was quite heavy compared to our normal advice and dilemmas that we do. But, you know, we just thought it was important to touch upon mm -hmm. some toxic parents or some of the toxic traits that we see in parenting. If you have to remove those people from your life, do it because it's better for your mental health and your future as well. I agree. And, yeah, I think just reach out to people if you feel like you have toxic parents or they're trying to convince you to do things that you don't want to do or make you feel bad reach out to people that are not within your circle not within your family not within your community because sometimes outside perspectives can be more helpful than the ones yeah. inside because everyone's conditioned to that toxic parent yeah. mindset you know you need outside influences and stuff that's it guys let us know if you've experience any toxic traits in the comments as well or you know someone that is um dm us drop a comment but yeah as always don't, don't forget, forget to like subscribe and share the video share the video he a bitch nigga he like i'm freaky he like i'm nasty